throughout my internship, I worked in human resources, corporate communications, and post at L'Oreal. Uh, then I worked here as a learning support assistant for my third rotation to complete the internship. And now here I am today working as a learning support assistant for my apprenticeship. I think the best bit is working with the students, watching them develop, watching them progress as individuals, as they become more independent, and as they prepare for their future. Uh, it's rewarding work, it's brilliant. Hopefully this uh, apprenticeship will give me a new career, possibly into teaching, May maybe not with students who have got special needs, but maybe with students at a primary school, so working in maybe reception years, or maybe years one and two, um, or possibly maybe getting a job here at this college and maybe progressing my um, my love and passion for uh, teaching students. Well, this week we're going to start looking at different learning styles, um, which they will be having practical work, looking at identifying in the classroom, and then I'll be picking up on uh, theory and research in the classroom. So far, I. I'm doing a receptionist and uh, basically I'm making, I direct customers and dealing with customers and making phone calls and sending an email. Khalil and Sally were on the sporting internship with me last year and I saw both of them come from school college and I saw the way they progressed um, by trying out, you know, you know, going into different rotations and building their skills and that was quite exciting for me as I saw them growing confidence. Um, in archiving I'll have to do mostly a routine of um, sometimes if I'm not scanning I will do um, prepping like um, mostly taking out the clips out of files making sure that they're straightened. Once that's done I normally put them back inside the file I got them out of, um, put a bandage around them, put the IRN, mostly the number of the file, and then if I'm not doing that, I'll be scanning and um, checking over those as well, like I have to turn them around and that, make sure they're straight and not upside down, obviously. And um, once that's done, I'll tend to just sweep the floor, but I tend to do that just by myself, just like no one tells me to do it, but I just like to keep the room clean. I wanted, um, I think at a time, wanted to be a, do coding um, for games, but I'd say I'd want to look more into depth on that, like by myself, just to explore what it's like, more like a hobby. Um, but I would like to stay in my job I have now. Him being in the team has made them actually um, gel even better because they interact with him and he has a disability and they engage him more. So as a result, they engage with each other more. Khalil will readily get up and do something um, that you ask him to do without any hesitation whatsoever. So if he's able to do it, that means that you all should be able to do it. And as a result, I think it's made my team much more cohesive and um, more efficient in, in their actual productivity. For Khalil, I um, can only see bigger and better things for him within the council if he decides to stay. Because I do know that he has a penchant for being a coder, um, which hopefully I can encourage, because I think he could do very well in that as well.